Dr. Ushu, thank you ever so much for joining us mm -hmm. at the ICTD conference. If you could just introduce yourself and your research interests. Okay. I work for Malaria Consortium and I've been called by Malaria Consortium to work specifically on NTDs. So uh, my role is basically to try to understand how we can integrate our strategies in malaria with NTDs in view of uh, sort of elimination of these NTDs. So I'm specifically dedicated to look at the NTDs in countries where we work in malaria. Brilliant. And that are co-endemic for NTDs. Fantastic. And, and from an NTD perspective, how important is it to facilitate collaboration between developed and developing countries? I think it's a big issue because most of the time um, things that are interesting for developed countries are then pushed later on if they, like for instance Zika is something that it can be a threat for developing countries but currently it's more a threat, it's becoming a threat for Western countries, so there is much more interest. In this case, I think the only thing we can do is possibly to try to engage them in terms of uh, you know, improving access to drugs, which is something that has been already going on because there is a donation process, but is also trying to convince them that if we try to set up a very good um, structure, health structure in developing countries, then it will be good even for, for ourselves because it's a, you know, these diseases they are starting <coughs> to be developed sure. in developing countries and then they may be eventually a risk for us as well. So we should right. start to engage them into investing now, even if right. maybe initially it doesn't seem to be so interesting for us. That's why they are neglected. Yeah, it's not sure. why there's interest in them. <laughs> so yeah, sure. I mean, you mentioned the term investment. Um, if we do want investment and we want to plow money into um, investing mm -hmm. in drugs and development for neglected tropical diseases, mm -hmm. who should we target this to? Should we target this to the government? Should we target to policy makers, NGOs, public-private partnerships? Who's the best market and target audience? I think everyone, everyone oh, yes. you said. So a multidisciplinary approach. It's a multidisciplinary approach, okay. I think, because it's, um, um, it's uh, for instance, it's, it's drugs, it's development of uh, RDTs, is the uh, development of uh, infrastructure in developing country. It's, um, it touches several aspects. So I think all, all these people, all the stakeholders are really involved sure. into, into this uh, you know, NTD elimination goal. In ter and in terms of collaboration, is there a particular collaboration that you, uh, in terms of Malaria Consortium, would, would like to see in the near future? For me, from I have to say, personally speaking, I feel that um, building up a lot of work, a lot of uh, strength and surveillance for NTDs, it's a it's a way forward. It's the way forward, and I wish we could collaborate. We find we could find people that are interested in working on surveillance for NTDs, mm. because this means building up again that kind of capacity that is needed in developing countries in order to. Um, early detect these diseases, manage these diseases, and, um, and I know that is something that is not really, mm, it's not seen as an important thing, it's not seen as a, as a very fashionable thing for sure. entities, but for me I think it's the way forward. We should really try to collaborate with people that are interested in surveillance, with the organizations that are interested in this, and try to push, to advocate for having much more resources on this. Sure, even yeah. if it's uh, even if possibly the impact that we may see is in the long in the long run, long, yeah. but it would certainly build up capacity that is uh, currently very much needed. It's missing, so needed. Brilliant. So we really do need a sustainable solution. Yeah, we need you a know. sustainable solution. Do you feel that short-term funding would 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 um, be an answer to a long-term sustainable solution? Well, a short-term funding that is uh, well targeted with um, a government in developing countries that are committed, okay. committed in, um, in keeping that sustainability, so committed also in investing their own resources, I think it would be the way forward, but you know, it uh, implies yeah. a lot of, uh, again, political commitment, financial commitment sure. from the countries where there is the need right. you know, to apply the sustainable solution. Mm -hmm. So it's in, one s in one side is, a, is investor, being interested in this uh, long-term well. path, 
and in the other side uh, is government that should be committed into this kind of uh, you know, sure. new strategy. No, brilliant. And, and, and lastly, looking towards the, the future, whilst um, you know, focusing our efforts in, in meeting the sustainable development goals, um, what, what can we learn from the uh, MDGs? You know, are there any particular lessons that we can learn from the Millennium Development Goals and, and, and learn from those lessons and, and translate novel policies towards the SDGs? I think we have learned that we need to be realistic <laughs> because okay. yeah. we always say, yes, we have eliminated something, we have eradicated something, mm. and then we realize that actually this disease will just come back. So yeah. we, we should be much more realistic. We should sort of push our interest not only on the final elimination goal, but on the process, how we do this, which are the steps that we need to uh, we, we, we need to do in order to reach the elimination mm. and give importance to the process. If we have certain strategies that we want to apply that will reach eventually to elimination, we have to sort of start thinking about process indicators. We have to start thinking about um, the small, you know, the milestone that we have to achieve before reaching elimination. And I think in the past we have just looked at the, the final point and we haven't reached it. Sure. So we need to be realistic and sort of uh, think about a step at a time and, um, and work on that more than thinking about, oh, we're going to reach elimination in 10 years or 20 mm. years. Or so a sustainable, so realistic. Sustainable, realistic. Option. Option. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much for your Thank your time. you.